Hello everyone and I welcome you all in the very first problem that uh, on Euler modified method that we have just discussed its procedure okay so let us start with the given thing so in the solution you always start with the given thing so what is given we are given that dy by dx means y dash is equal to x plus y what is the step size you want me to write the step size Step size is h is equal to 0 0.05. Okay, what is x0? x0 is 0. And what is y0? y0 is 1. Okay, this, this is the value of y0. Okay, so after writing down the given thing, you just have to make a decision. Okay, now you, uh, as you can see, we have a step size of 0 0.05 okay and uh, we have to start from 0 and we have a step size of 0 0.05 so to reach from 0 to 0 0.1 with a step size of 0 0.05 how many steps are required yes two steps are required correct so this problem is a two step problem okay so let us start with the step number one Okay, before I write step number one, let me write down the function. What is function of x, y? The general form is dy by dx is equal to f of x, y. So, what is f of x, y? f of x, y is x plus y. Now, we'll write the step number one. Okay, step one. So, what is step one? Step one says, write down the predicted value so you can just write by by Euler's formula by Euler's formula what we can write y1 is equal to y1 is equal to y0 plus h f of x0 y0 okay now you have the value of y0 what is it value of y0 is 1 then value of h is 0 0.05 and what is value of f of x0 y0 if my f of x y is this what is f of x0 y0 f of x0 y0 is x0 is 0 f of x0 y0 is x0 plus y0 and what is x0 0 and what is y0 1 so this comes out to be 1 okay no need to write down this just for the sake of understanding i am telling you okay so what is f of x0 y0 1 okay now when you substitute all these values you will be getting the value of y1 to be what is it 1 plus 1 into 0 0.05 so this is 1.05 or if you want me to uh, write the uh, values first and then answer so that is no issue so you can write y1 as 1 plus 0 0.05 into what is the value of this 1 so this comes out to be 1.05 and this is the value of y1 now once you get the value of y1 what you need to find out you need to find out the approximated value and in the approximated value we want x1 so what is x1 let us find out x1 let x1 is equal to x0 plus h so what is x0 my x0 is 0 what is h 0 0.05 so which is equal to 0 0.05 now find out the first approximated value so you can write uh, first first approximated value first approximated value of y1 that is y11 do you remember the formula is given by y11 what is it y0 plus h by 2 y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y1 okay y1 we have to take this value y1 we have to take the value of y1 to be this okay and x1 just we have found out 
Now, substitute all these values to get uh, y11. So when you substitute all these values and make use of calculator to substitute, so you'll be getting the value of y11 to be 1.0525. This is the first approximated value. Next, you have to find out the second approximate value. So you can just write here second, second approximated value of y1. So how we write the second approximately the approximated value of y y1, y12, which is given by y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y1 1 okay now again substitute all these values you have all these values okay so what is y12 so what is y12 y12 comes out to be when you substitute all these values and make use of calculator. So this is 1.0526. If you want, you can stop here because the difference between uh, y11 and y21 is uh, very less because just a difference of 0.1 is there. But if you want the more precise answer, okay, so you can write one more iteration. So let me write down that one. So the third approximated value, third approximated value of y1, that is y1, y1. 3 is equal to y0 plus h by 2 into f of x0 y0 plus f of x1 y12 the previous value okay so this comes out to be y13 is equal to 1.0526 so now as you can see the value of y13 and y12 agree okay so this process get terminated or the step one get terminated here okay so this is just the first one now we'll uh, have to find out the second step okay so let me write down first so what value we are getting therefore y1 is equal to 1.0526 at at x is equal to what is it at x1 is equal to 0 0.05 but we want the value of y1 at x is equal to 0 0.1 so one more step is required okay so let me write down step number two so here it is step two so what we need to do, we just need to increment the formula by uh, suffixes by 1. So y2 is y1 plus h f of x1 y1. Now when you are solving this, so value of x1 should be this and value of y1 is this. Okay, don't take any value. The latest one you will take. Okay, now uh, substitute these values. Once you substitute these values, so what you'll be getting, you'll be getting, just a minute, so y1 is 1.0526 plus, what is h? h is 0 0.05 and what is f of x1, y1 with the help of this x1, y1? When you sum up this, you'll be getting 1.0536, right? Okay, so you can write into 0 0.05 plus 1.0526 and when you solve this you will be getting the value of y1 to be value of y1 to be value of y1 comes out to be 1.1077 
1.1077. This is just the predicted value. Now you have to find out the approximated value to this till the value is get repeated. But you know that that we have to we need x2 in order to find out first approximated value of y2 which is y2 1. Okay. So what is x2? x2 is x0 plus 2h. Okay. So what is the value? The value is 0 plus 2 times, so this is 0 0.1. Now let us find out fast. So it is uh, y, y1, x1, y1, x2, y2. <coughs> okay, this is y2. This is also y2. Okay, now let us find out the value of this y21. So what is the value of y21? The value of y21 comes out to be 1.1103. Now make use of this value to get the second approximately of second approximate value of y2 which we denoted by y22. So this is y1, this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y21. So when you solve this you'll get the second approximate value as 1.1103. 1.1104 if you want you can stop here and if you are not satisfied with the answer find out the third approximate value of this okay so this is given by y23 is y1 x1 y1 x2 y2 and this will surely will give you 1.1104 so at last you can write down your final answer as required solution therefore required solution is equal to required solution is y1 is equal to 1.1104 at x is equal to 0.1 so this is the final solution so you may find this to be very easy because it is easy actually so we'll take more example to let you understand the process once again so in this uh, lecture we have taken a very simple example in the next class we'll take a little bit complicated example just uh, for the uh, just for the calculation part, okay, you will find it difficult rest of the thing is easy So thank you for watching this learning video. Happy learning and enjoy